know that one of the perks of making YouTube videos is that sometimes beauty companies send me stuff to, I guess, to review or to play with or whatever. So a few things have shown up over the last few weeks that I want to talk about. And the first thing you've seen me, tw uh, I tweeted about it, I Instagrammed it. It's this amazing box that I received from Becca Cosmetics. Let's walk through the face palette, which is hard to show on camera. It's very reflective. It's a white kind of lacquer case with gold print. This consists of two shimmering Skin Perfector pressed powders and um, uh, three blushes, two mineral blushes and one new limited edition shade, I think, of their luminous blush. So of the two large shimmering Skin Perfector shades here, we have, of course, the original, the, the thing that inspired this whole thing, which is the uh, Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's beautiful, lovely, cult favorite, adore it. Then there's a new shade that was created just for this launch and it's called Prosecco Pop. And the difference is, this is a little more warmer, a little more um, just gold. And I'm actually wearing it today. Can you see that? You see that highlight right there? Yeah, there it is. And it's a it's very wearable and they're both wearable. I, it's, it's hard to say which shade that I like better. What I'm most excited about in this palette is the new luminous blush shade called Rose Spritz. And I am also wearing that today. And it is the most wearable shade. If you saw my Becca Blushes review, I loved the concept, but they were really pigmented and difficult, I think, to wear if you're fairer skin. Um, but this rose spritz color is the perfect peachy, peach, peachy pink color. I'm so excited. It's so wearable. It's so beautiful. And I really hope that Becca releases this as an individual luminous blush shade. The other two shades in the palette are also new. These are the mineral blush shades. They're very pigmented. They are called Amaretto, which is like a matte kind of brownie shade, kind of an almond shade, I guess, and then Pumplemousse, which is just a really bright coral pink. They're both very pigmented, just like every other Becca product. Um, I would say that I would, I'm would. i most excited of the palettes in this. I'm most excited about this out of the collection because I'm really into, I think you get the most value for your money. You get two shimmering skin perfectors, really good size, and that luminous blush alone is worth it. They're just gorgeous. The other palette that's in this new collection launch is the eyeshadow palette and um, I am also wearing that today and I have four out of the five shadow colors on here. So surprisingly, the standouts in this palette are the matte shades. I found the um, this champagne toast shade, is that what it's called? Yes, the champagne toast shade. It's a little too orangey for my skin tone. It's pretty, but it just doesn't look great on me. And then this Chardonnay shade can easily be duped with, um, I'm thinking like the Balm's Mary Luminizer is a very similar effect. But these three matte shades here are so soft, they're so creamy, they're so pigmented, and they blended like, a, I've never had a shadow blend so easily and be so forgiving to my heavy hand. So I'm really impressed with the matte shades, but the shimmer shades, surprisingly not what I would be reaching for. Now, this is, um, this is not new in concept, but the shade is new. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. This is in the shade Champagne Pop. If you're familiar with the Becca line, then you know they have these and, and their other shades. It's the first time I've used it, and what I did was I did about a half a pump of this to, not a full on pump, let's just say, like half to two thirds full pump of this mixed with um, one of my favorite foundations, which is the CoverGirl Ready Set Glow, which is a little more matte. And I feel like it's this nice luminous finish. Um, I'm very pleased with how it, it came out. It, I'm not reflecting light, but I definitely feel more luminous. I think if you are a more mature woman who just wants to add a little glow to your look without looking sparkly and just too highlighted, this is beautiful. Um, for those of you who remember, I used to use the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Touch, the little pump that you'd put, I'd mix with my foundation. This is a similar concept. It's a little thicker in its consistency. I feel like this could be worn all by itself with no makeup, just over moisturizer or mixed with moisturizer. Um, it's less oily 
And um, the problem I had with the L'Oreal one was that it eventually separated. I don't think that's gonna be the same issue here. Obviously the price point is a little different than the L'Oreal option, but this is absolutely beautiful and now I am kicking myself that I have not picked up one of these sooner. The original star of the show is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop and I don't wanna touch this or swatch this or do anything with this because this one is pristine and untouched and brand new and I already have one of these that I bought myself and I have it in the limited edition holiday palette that I bought from Sephora. I do not need another one. I would like to give this away. And so in the description box below, there'll be a link to go to a raffle copter giveaway. Um, and there'll be various ways to enter. And this time I figured out how to fix it. So all you have to do is enter by email. You don't have to follow me anywhere if you don't want to. But there are other options of ways to add more entries and that does include following me on social media and stuff. So anyway, I'm giving this away. It's open internationally and I hope somebody, somebody's gonna love this because I love Champagne Pop. Okay, so that's that. And then they also included the Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured version of Champagne Pop, which is the um, creamy version of it here. And I'm not a huge fan of, oh no, I just, I got a little line stuck in it. I'm not a huge fan of cream highlighters on me. I'm not a huge fan of cream anything. Cream blush, cream highlighters, they just don't, I don't know how to work with them. But if you like a cream highlighter, this is a really great option. And they launched on May 26th online and they are available in stores in Sephora June 16th. So very exciting, you can buy them now. If you wanna go in person, you gotta wait till June 16th. So now we have a little sampling of stuff from the new release. It's, it's a subsidiary, I guess, or a branch off. It's called the Estee Edit and it's part of Estee Lauder, of course. And I feel, it's my impression that they, this is a part of Kylie Jenner's look and she's associated with this campaign and it's geared obviously toward the younger audience. And so the prices are a little bit lower because if you're familiar with Estee Lauder generally, their makeup is pretty pricey. So this stuff definitely skews a little less expensive and it looks like some pretty cool stuff. So I'll start with what I've already worn. And this is called the Edgiest Up and Out Double Mascara. It is a pretty cool concept. It's a two in one. One end is for volume, one end is for lift. I really like this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it smells good. That's just an aside a little bit faintly of roses. So on one side you have your nice, big, thick, fat, um, volumizing end of the mascara wand, which I use first on the top lashes only. Then I go back in with this little side. This side is for the lift, and this is the tiniest little mascara brush. I use this on my bottom lashes. It's the perfect size. And then after I've already put on my top coat of mascara, I get it right on the root, and I just wiggle it and kind of lift it up and it does add a little more lift, a little more oomph to the roots and then I use it to get into that outer corner and into my inner corner because the wand size is fabulous. And it's double ended so you're basically getting two mascaras for the price of one and it is only $24 for basically two mascaras. So that's really not a bad deal. Then in my bronzer collection video I recently showed this. This is called the Barest Bronzer and this is in the shade Medium Deep which obviously is way too medium and way too deep for me, but I am intrigued to go out and get the uh, light medium because I looked at it on Sephora and it is beautiful. There are two shades in here kind of so that you can sort of customize the color on your own face. Obviously this is not gonna work for me and we'll be finding a new home with a friend, but I kept it around to show it to you. They also sent me the Flash Illuminator in the shade Nightlight, which of course is the darkest shade. There are five shades. I got the darkest one. Um, I would like to explore this also a little bit more. I think it's very similar in concept to the um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the liquid shade. Um, this of course is darker. I'm try I think I might give this a go to mix this in with some foundations that are too light, like my winter foundations. A pump of this could like, darken them up just enough to make them wearable for summer. I think I can also play with this and use this more as like a liquid bronzer. So I'm going to try and make this work for me. I will keep you updated on how that works. But this is much less expensive than the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. This one is only $28. Then the last thing they sent me is called the Blackest Liner. And it comes in one shade, black. And it is a big felt tip marker. Doesn't smell like a marker though, that's good. So if you want, if you're a big fan of the liquid liner, um, this is very user-friendly. It's a nice thick marker so you can really get a good grip around it. 
You can lay it sideways and get a fat line. You can use it more of the fine tip side to get a really thin line. I feel like it looks too harsh on my eye, so I just don't generally use a liquid liner or a, a marker liner like this. I prefer to use um, the traditional eyeliner in a, in a stick pencil form. So that's it from Estee Lauder, the Estee Edit. And since we're talking about eyeliners, let's move over to Makeup Forever and their newest launch, which are the Aqua XL eyeliners. All right, there are 20 shades in this collection. Here are some of them. I thought about swatching them all, but it's kind of ridiculous. They look exactly how they look on the uh, pencil itself. The barrel is the color. And there are 20 shades. They're $21. They are available on Makeup Forever's website where they do a great job of showing you the exact color and they're also available on Sephora. And these are very similar in texture, in concept, in, in color options to my favorite uh, eyeliners which are the La Lancome Drama Liqua liners that are not actually liquid, they're just like these guys. I think if I had to pick between the two of them, I would go with the Makeup Forever and I will tell you why. These are $2 less expensive. You know, $2 adds up if you're buying 20 of them. And um, there are more color options. And the unique thing about the Makeup Forever offering is there are five different finishes. I wrote them down for you. There's a matte finish, you know, your standard matte brown, matte black, matte purple, and so on. There's a satiny finish, which is just not as flat of a color. There's no sparkle or anything. It's just satiny. There is an iridescent one, and you know what it is because it'll have an I in the number name if it's an if it's a iridescent. And there is some shimmer sparkle. There's metallic, which I think speaks for itself. And then there's diamond. To be honest, when you're doing just a tiny little line on the edge of your eyelid, you really can't tell if it's matte or satiny or sparkly. But because these have such unique colors and there's so many options, you know, these can easily be used as a base for eyeshadow, and if you're doing it across a whole portion of your lid, then obviously you're gonna see that. But I wouldn't necessarily buy one just as an eyeliner based solely because it's gonna be metallic or iridescent or whatever. It's, it's really hard to tell. I think they're beautiful. They last on me all day. I don't need to take any special remover to get them off, but um, they do not budge. Once these babies are set, they're not going anywhere. So they're great for the upcoming summer hot months. So love this for Makeup Forever. And the last press release new and beauty offering I have for you is from Urban Decay. If you're a big fan of Urban Decay, then you know they've discontinued their Revolution lipsticks, which I feel didn't come out all that long ago, and they are replacing all of them with a the new Vivid, I'm sorry, Vice, Urban Decay Vice lipstick. And they are $17. They come in six finishes. They have not sent me all of them. I do have Mega Matte, Comfort Matte, Creams, and Metalize. There's also Sheers and Sheer Shimmers, which I have not seen in person yet. I am wearing one of the comfort mattes in the shade Back Talk, and I have, have it over one of their lip liners in the shade Rush. They're pretty, they're lipsticks. It's nice that they offer a lot of options. $17 is, is a good price point for a higher end lipstick. I do not like these as much as I like my Clinique Lip Color Pops. And I do not like these as much as my Milani drugstore options. Milani offers kind of some, not some of the same finishes. They offer a matte, they offer a cream, they offer a metallic. Um, I also, you know, for this price, I might as well get a MAC lipstick. I just, there's nothing exciting about these. I'm not sure if they're going to reformulate all the old shades into new shades, but like here is a favorite, Naked, and it is a pretty shade. Um, I will give you that, and I have worn it. But again, considering all the other options that are out there, I'm just not like, wow, this is amazing. And they did also send me, um, these are not new. These are their 24-7 lip liners. And my problem with these is while they're pigmented and creamy and easy to apply, um, they wear down super fast. So I used um, Rush. I used Rush to line my lips. I've only used it twice before to line my lips and fill them in, and it's already to a nub. It needs to be sharpened. So you don't get a lot out of these, and at $20 a pop, I would like to get more. And there's just a lot of other options out there. For instance, back to Milani, Rimmel, NYX. These are all drugstore options that I feel give you as much bang, more bang for your buck. So I'm being a little judgy here, but 
to me, it's hard to justify a high-end lip liner unless there's a huge difference and I'm not getting it out of these. So those are the latest press releases that showed up on my doorstep. I hope you enjoyed the reviews. If I had to say run out and buy one thing, it would be the face palette from the Champagne Glow collection with Becca and Jaclyn Hill. I think it's amazing and you're gonna get the most bang for your buck and I think you'll be the most pleased with that. Um, Everything else kind of depends on what's in your collection and what you want to add to it. Don't forget, if you want to get your very own Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector, enter the giveaway. That link is in the description box. Lots of info in the description box. I'll also expand on all this in the blog. And let me know if you want to see me do a tutorial with any of these products in particular. As always, thank you so much for watching. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to what is going to be called May follow-ups and favorites because I have some products I want to talk about and give you an update on and walk you through my favorites from this month.